All right, well, let's see what's happening this week. So this first card is going to be kind of the theme for the week. So we can head for the, the fifth through the ninth. Promised Land. I love this card. So we've got this one you have to really look at. So we've got Jerry Garcia up here. When I channeled this, I kind of freaked out <laughs> when he came through. Um, and when I found, I saw him up here and then I found a reference photo and he happened to be playing the song Promised Land and just the whole idea um it's a song i don't know if elvis wrote it or if he just performed it a lot but the i think he wrote it and he was like trying to get out to california and they're like all these obstacles came in the way but it gave him this amazing song so that's kind of what that this card is about it's about and it says when you feel like a vessel lost at sea so like if you're on your way to something and it feels so this week it, lots of movement has happened in the past couple days for a lot of people. So if it feels like at some point you feel kind of like lost at sea, remember you're also the sun and the sky and the warm ocean breeze. So everything's connected. It's all going as it's supposed to be. And you are exactly where you need to be today. It's exactly perfect for now. The promise isn't just for the landing. So the promised land but the songs will sing on the way. And so that whole story of like Elvis when he was heading out and he like, his bus broke down, like all those things. When your bus breaks down, remember like that gives you good, it gives you good stories. It gives you good um, inspiration to create something with that. And so just a little closer look at some of the things. So all the people down here cheering on and the, it's got a little bit, it's like the, it's like a celebration of the journey. So enjoy the journey. So that's what this week's theme is. And let's take a look at like the first part of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So let this be kind of your, your guide this week or your, you know, rem remember if you feel lost that you're connected to everything. It's all part. You can't get off your path because you are the path. And that it's about the joy on the journey, not just getting there. It's weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's because I don't want to make the sound of the shuffling, but I have this kind of like weird. Oh, there we go. All right. So Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday, let's, it, say, it says, Nurtured by Nature. So looking at our wellness, our well-being, wellness is our natural state. We sometimes forget this and that's okay. Simply return to Gaia, rest your soul upon the earth like a child resting safely at the bosom of the mother and she will remind you. So if you're feeling disconnected or having any issues of well-being in any way, nature will get you hooked back into this, that will really remind you and show you. So again, is remembering remember, remind you that you are connected to everything. Your wellness is your natural state. Joy, your life's meant to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. So this early part of the week, tomorrow through Wednesday, really take some time to connect to plants and wildlife. Even if it's just looking out your window for a while, you know, get some sunlight breathe some fresh air, those things are going to keep you in your natural state of alignment. Let mama take care of you. <laughs> All right, so the middle part of the week, so that, that, or the second, the middle part of the week, what I mean is the end of the week, so like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday. Stepping stones. There is no such thing as a block in the unending, persistent stream of creativity. Only opportunities to stabilize and catch your breath. So take your time. And again, so if, like, I think what happens is when the energy starts, 
moving finally. I think we came out of this um, uh, Mercury retrograde and a lot of people are like, woohoo, I'm free and this Leo energy is really exciting and that new moon and everything. Um, and so any kind of lull when you, in contrast to the exciting flow, um, the flow doesn't stop, but we just kind of take a pause, right? And so the dragonfly, um, it, it's kind of a reminder too to kind of rise above things. Take your time. Look at the big picture. Again, it's not about the promise isn't just for what you get when you get there. You're not. It's not about getting there. It's about enjoying the songs you'll sing on the way and the things you'll create and the new ideas. So look at any kind of lull or any kind of s slowing down of your flow as um, an opportunity to catch your breath. Take your time. Let your soul catch up with you. So that's looking at the later part of the week. And then this one is for the weekend. So what's, what's, the, what's Saturday and Sunday? Friday evening going into Saturday, Sunday next week. Ripple effect. And it's kind of the same message. And we've got this, this dragonfly again. Don't be dismayed if happiness fades. It sparked a momentum of positive change. Water your garden with gratitude and joy will bloom again. So it's appreciating. So we're coming out of kind of this, this lull stuff. And so don't get stuck in there, but look at what's happening. It's, it's blooming. It's so feel this weekend, some anticipation for what's coming. Anticipate that. Yeah. So the, it, the energy may dip down a little bit. It's going to bloom again. I'm a, I, so appreciate this journey that I'm on. I so appreciate the opportunity to rest. I so appreciate my surroundings, my environment, and kind of really the the big key this week is to enjoy your journey. You know, sing some songs, <laughs> create your own songs out of what's happening here. And again, the dragonfly. So rising above, seeing the big picture. It's not about getting there. It's about it's not about the destination, right? We know that. Um, but this one is really focusing on gratitude. So beginning of the week, nature will be the key to staying in alignment and realizing your natural state of well-being and joy. Then resting and, and rising above, catching your breath, taking your time, being gentle with yourself. And in, on the weekend, again, going into gratitude and trusting and allowing and eagerly anticipating the joy that's coming. So that's this week of uh, August 5th through the 9th, the week and the weekend going in to the 11th and 12th. Hope you have a wonderful one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.